Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, walking and talking here on the beautiful boulevard in Torre Vieja. It's really early, the sun starts to rise behind the clouds. It's really early this morning. I woke up very early. In today's video, guys, I have five amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a trading tip, a travel tip. I have an answer to one of the questions of the followers, of course, talking about the news, because there is massive news, a huge industry tapping into the blockchain industry now and yes also ending the video again with a beautiful inspirational quote guys check how beautiful it is at the moment this early the sky colors are amazing and yes the sun will rise again guys amazing now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to bitcoin this early morning in spain bam The first chart for today, guys, is again that day chart. Just to show you where we are again, we are fighting that 50 day moving average. We are fighting the top over here of that uh, bullish flag pattern. We need some more power to break out. But if we break out, guys, then we should have a target somewhere between the 1.272 and the 1.618 level over here, uh, which is between 83K and 90K on the daily chart, guys. It could be a massive move. So be sure that you won't miss that move, guys. Yes, of course, that line is not okay. Um, so very interesting to see. Um, the longer this takes, the less valid that the pattern becomes because then the flag becomes too long. Um, if you compared to the pole and of course we could extend the pole to here but it's like not completely honest so if that doesn't work out then of course we need to consider other patterns but at the moment i'm still believing in this massive push upwards we can also see the macd the bars on the bottom turning green there was a bullish crossover the rsi uh, is pointing upwards we have a lot of uh, upward possibilities for the rsi even to go to 90 over there guys or even higher here to 94 so yes it looks to me as if we are preparing for this massive bullish move also if we look at the weekly gis chart guys we can see the same and um, we found support here on this higher low over here almost at that green line this green line and the top of here a very thick one is an important line as that was the top of the previous bull market guys and that line then is a huge support and resistance lines we are finding support there now so if you ask me whatever happens just look at this chart if that green line would go down to make a higher low even at 57k or something like that i still believe we will go up to these levels over there between 130 and 150k somewhere in september to december 2025 so there is a sheer lot of upward potential still in this bull market if you buy around these levels of 63k so it's very simple guys also if you look at the dotted line here on the bottom of the rsi you know we had resistance support resistance support again here resistance again here support and now we're again support refining support the green bars are still green yes that blue line might you know cross that red line and would might lead into some bearish movement like over here these red candles and over here these red bars it's bearish movements but these are small dips they are 20 percent dips we already saw a 20 percent dip again almost at the moment now it's like 13 or 14 percent we could even dip six percent what does it matter you should be accumulating bitcoin at these levels as we will explode to these levels somewhere there between 120 and 150k doubling your capital in the next 12 to 18 months now let's jump into some more interesting charts guys this is the first one because at the halving at because this is the first one at the fourth halving guys at the moment we had 19.6 million bitcoins circulating 19 million 600 87,500 bitcoins were circulating at around that fourth halving so uh, supply remaining at fourth halving is 1.3 million bitcoins still need to be mined this will take another 116 years all the way into the year 2140 when the last bitcoin will be mined we will probably not build be there or something needs to uh, be invented that we get to live forever but if we just live a normal life uh, we won't be there anymore in 2140 40 when that last bitcoin will be mined so there is still 1.3 million to be mined and that will increase in value so just imagine bitcoin going to price of a few hundred k times the 1.3 million bitcoins how much the miners in the future can still earn a lot 
it's a very important moment in Bitcoin history, another halving moment. There is still a lot of Bitcoins that need to be mined, and there is also a lot of circulating supply again, and also, of course, a supply that is lost. It's very important to understand that it will take to the year 2140 for the last Bitcoin to be mined, guys. Now, then we get the drawdowns from the all-time high and the halving. So um, here it was 60% from the all-time high. Here it's 43% from the all-time high. Um, and here the drawdown was like 56% from the all-time high. At this moment, it was only 12%. And we are calculating from the newest all-time high now, 73K. So we're not calculating from the previous all-time high over here, that 70K area then um, it would be a little bit less even, but if we calculate from 73k, we have a drawdown of 12% at the moment. These previous halvings, the drawdown was of course calculated from that previous autumn high. There was no autumn high before the halving. So for example, the autumn high was over here, and we calculated the drawdown over there. Now the autumn high was over there, then we calculated the drawdown over there. Now the autumn high was over here, but we made a new autumn high over there, so the drawdown is only calculated over there. And it's only 12% if you compare it to the other drawdowns, way less than all these other drawdowns. My honest opinion that is because a shitload of liquidity is being bought up by the spot ETFs and other institutional investors. Now, Bitcoin halving cycles from $12 to $650, that's 54 times. From $650 to $8,000 is 13 times. Now from $8,000 to $63,000 US dollar was seven times. Even if we would slow down to from this halving to the next halving in 2028, only times three, that would mean that around the next halving, we will be at three times 63,000 US dollar. That's around 180,000 US dollar at the next halving. These levels are amazing levels to still accumulate a share of the Bitcoin because in four years time, the halving will be nearing the 200k per Bitcoin. The top will be even higher, but the halving could be around that 200k level per Bitcoin in 2028. So buying at these prices, still cheap. The Bitcoin price performance 365 days after the halving guys. That's 12 months after the halving. That's exactly a year after the halving. So the first halving, the red one, we were 7,645% higher 12 months later. That second halving, the blue one, we were almost 300% higher after the halving 12 months. The third one was 266% higher. So if we only would go 250% higher then 60k guys where would we end we would end of course at a beautiful price of 150,000 us dollar per bitcoin so yes i do believe that we can end somewhere in this area again around the 200 to 300 percent from now from the 63k 200 to 300 percent up between 120 and 200,000 us dollar should be reachable for the next bull market top and also when you look at this you can see exactly where we are and um, this is the current cycle is that black line this is exactly where we are if you compare it to all the other cycles even here this one i won't calculate the first one the genesis one but i will calculate this one over here 2011 to 2015 look how much more we went up from that moment where we are now that green line, look how much more we went up from that moment where we are now. And that blue line also, look how much more we went up from where we are now. That blue line did more than 10,000% in total. That green line did 2,000% in total. We are now here. We are going to end somewhere in this area, guys. Here in that area, somewhere there. We're going to end between the blue and the green line, in my honest opinion. That's a shitload more of upward movements for Bitcoins. And even if we do underperform and we end here, that's still 800% from the beginning where we were over there. That's a very good performance for Bitcoin. So make sure that you realize we are still in a very beautiful area, cheap area to buy Bitcoin. Because if you look at what happened after that moment where we are now, all of these lines went up higher 
not one of them went down. He had a yellow one, but that was the first cycle of Genesis, so that was a two-year cycle, so it was not like a four-year cycle. This chart is showing us the bearish part, so it's showing us that, yes, look over here, the green line is curling down at the moment, just like it was curling down over there, for example, the 2017 bull market, which gave us a very boring summer. This summer went like sideways, continuously sideways, a little bit up, a little bit down, now here again, a little bit up, a little bit down. Of course, if you count all these boring moments and then the increase we still made, that's massive. But there's just an indication on the charts that when that green line starts to curl, that a small dip or pullback could be happening. Small dip or pullback could be happening. It happened over here two times, as you can see. It happened there. It happened over here. It happened there. And every time when we see this, we see a small dip. And we are seeing that dip over here now as well. I hope you really enjoyed those short-term charts, guys. Yes, of course, short-term, beautiful target still, around 77 to 80K and maybe even higher, guys. Long-term, way more important. This is the moment for you to still get into Bitcoin and enjoy those massive profits that are ahead of us after this halving, guys. Don't be fooled. This is not the bull market top. I will also come back to this by answering one of the questions of the followers, but we need to zoom out in Bitcoin. Look at that bigger picture, guys. We are by far near the bull market top. All the indicators are not showing us anything near the bull market top. There is still a moment to get into Bitcoin and double your capital within 12 to 18 months. I will keep repeating it. Zoom out, look at the bigger picture. Look at the bigger picture in Bitcoin and you need to zoom in at life. Look and enjoy every single minute of the day. That is the thing that you need to do to live a beautiful life while you enjoy these amazing sunsets together with me. It will take a little bit for the sun to come up, but I will show you, of course, on video. The trading tip for today, guys, is that you should start to focus on real world asset tokenization in this industry. This is a huge industry that's stepping into a huge amount of liquidity. It's a trillion dollar market that we can join now with that real asset, real world asset tokenization guys. And BlackRock is one of the front runners in this industry now. They are going to focus on real world asset tokenization. So what is real world asset tokenization Didi? It essentially is tokenizing any asset out there in the world. If it is stocks, bonds, commodities, or if it is real estate, you will be able to tokenize all of that onto the blockchain. And the huge institutional investors are now starting to shift their focus to these real world asset tokenizations because they also understand there is a way for them to, to tokenize all the real world assets and being able to trade them 24 seven on the blockchain with all the advantages of a blockchain. The institutional investors the big ass companies out there start to understand the power of blockchain. And that is why these real world asset tokenization projects are gonna explode in this bull market. I do think they are gonna provide a shitload of liquidity guys for this bull market. The view is amazing at the moment. I'm gonna turn around the camera so you can see how beautiful it is. The sun really is like hiding behind the clouds still. And it's slowly coming up. It's an amazing morning, guys. Look how beautiful. So the trading tip for the day is start to do your research about real world asset tokenizations, RWA tokenizations, as these projects will probably suck a shitload of liquidity into the blockchain industry and thus also into Bitcoin and maybe other cryptocurrency. So trading tip for the day, real world asset tokenization. And then there is one project I want you to really do your research after, and that one is Estate X. Estate X is also a project I invested in, and this project is already doing the real world asset tokenization to real estate. They are making real estate liquid again. It's really interesting to see what that means for the complete complex real estate industry. But Estate X, I will put the link down below, it is the first project, huge project, that I am investing in as a Bitcoiner because I also start to understand real world asset tokenization, guys. It's very simple. You need to always look into the future. What is happening in these industries? And if those real world asset tokenizations are becoming popular or trendy, 
you need to pick the projects that you want to invest in. So the first project in this industry that I want to invest in is Estate X. Just check their Twitter, check all their white paper, check the whole project, their website. Before you invest, always do your own research. But if it is up to me, I would definitely put some investments in Estate X, guys. A beautiful project with a beautiful team and a massive use case. So I would definitely look at Estate X. The travel tip for today, guys, is always visit a country's festival. Like, for example, in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, Rio de Janeiro you have the carnival. For example, in Bali, you have Nyepi. For example, in Thailand, you have the New Year with the water festival. For example, in the Netherlands, you have King's Day. There are so many festivals that you can celebrate together with the local people that will make your trip more beautiful. Like in Mexico, for example, Dia de la Muerte. There are so many festivals worldwide that are celebrated in all kinds of unique ways. It is always, it should be a focus for you when you're traveling to try and be in those countries during these festival seasons. It's amazing to celebrate these festivals with the local people out there. It's just beautiful. We did Thai New Year with the water shooting everyone wet. Beautiful. We also did Nyepi in Bali where the lights go out for 24 hours, completely dark. But then after, there is a day with a parade with all kinds of beautiful puppets and animals. Yeah, it's beautiful to see. So my travel tip for today is always research which periods of the year there is these festivals in a certain country and then try to visit those countries in that part of the year. Let me know down below which strange festivals you have seen till now in different countries. For example, also here in Spain, Pamplona, the bull running. It's beautiful. There is a shitload of festivals all over the world that is beautiful to celebrate with the local people and it gives you an amazing taste of what the country really is. So please let me know down below which festivals did you visit. I'm not talking about all the dance festivals, Tomorrowland and all that stuff, like the cultural festivals that really show you a little bit more about the country instead of the dance festivals. Let me know down below which ones you visited, where, when and if you liked it. Check how beautiful, guys. That is how early I woke up this morning. The question of one of the followers today, guys, that I'm going to answer is, Didi, do you even consider that we could top out earlier in this bull market as we also made an all-time high before uh, the halving? And of course, I've been considering this. But to be honest, I've been telling you every time again and again, while well, you might beautiful enjoy the sunset again, but like I think the screen then will become a little bit too... I know it's okay. So the thing what it is is, we all don't have a crystal ball. We can't predict the future. We don't know exactly when uh, we will see a bull market top. The indicators will tell us when all the indicators are starting to top out. The Pi Cycle top indicator, the RSI, the MVRV Z score, and many others of the indicators. When they tell us, hey, that bull market top is near, that is the moment when the bull market top is near. That is the moment when we will take our profits. We can't predict that future. We can't say, exactly then if we do what we normally do then the bull market top should be in somewhere between september and december 2025 because that is 17 to 18 months after the halving and the last and in the previous three bull markets we every time topped out three we every time topped out 17 to 18 months after the halving so that would bring us between september and december we can only look at the past do our ta see what Bitcoin did in the previous bull markets. And if Bitcoin did that in the previous bull market, it might do the same in this bull market. And that would bring us to September to December. And of course you might answer now, yeah, but we don't do what we did in the previous bull market because we already created an all-time high before the halving, but we also created a dip before the halving. Normally we do a dip after the halving. So on average, everything might be shifted like by, with a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but still, the top will probably be in between 17 and 18 months after the halving, September to December 2025. But when the indicators start to tell me already in March 2025 or in February 2025, the top is in, when all those indicators start to flash, hey, warning, 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 the bull market top is in, that is the moment where I will share honestly in this video, hey guys, hey, Normally the bull market shouldn't be later, but at this moment the indicators are flashing that we are overbought, that there is too much selling pressure now in Bitcoin. The indicators are telling us that the market is stopping and topping out. And then of course I will announce that in the video that I will take my profits. So 
we can try to predict the future, but please, when it comes to trading, watch all these indicators. These indicators tell us exactly where we are in the market. The news for today, guys, is that BlackRock is also tapping into the real world asset market, guys. They understand now there is a shit of assets that they can tokenize and by that bring to the blockchain and by that make it possible that they are tradable 24 seven with all the safety and advantages that the blockchain gives us. So yes, BlackRock and all those institutional investors start to understand the power of blockchain. And that is why these real world assets will be popular now in this bull market because they will shift a lot of liquidity towards that one the moment they understand more and more how blockchain is changing the game for them. And also for all those real world assets out there that now can be tokenized onto that blockchain. Just imagine the possibilities of tokenizing bonds, stocks, real estate and all the other assets out there like that hundreds of trillion dollar market cap of all the assets out of the world now being able to be tokenized onto the blockchain and traded 24 7 all over the world that's changing the complete investing game for all those institutional investors so these real world assets are definitely something that you need to take a look at like they always say you need to follow the money and if the money of those huge institutional investors like BlackRock, like Vanguard, like State Street start to shift slowly to these real world asset tokenization projects, your money should a little bit be diversified into that part as well. Of course, I'm still the all in Bitcoin guy. I'm just telling you what a sane investor would do when he sees these things happening in the market. So the real world assets, the tokenization part of those real world assets is going to be a huge industry. And with that beautiful sunrise that we just witnessed, guys, the inspirational quote for today is, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can drive out darkness, guys. And that is exactly how you should treat life. Very light. You should shine very brightly towards life. You should be driving darkness out of your life. Don't focus on darkness by being darkness yourself. And what I mean with it is, is there is a lot of negative people in this world. Don't be also negative. You won't be able to drive out those negative people with that negative one. Uh, there's a lot of people that are mad in this world. Don't try to drive out those people by being mad as well. There's a lot of frustrated people in this world. Don't try to drive out those people by being frustrated as well. Try to be the opposite. Darkness will not be driven out by darkness, only by light. And that is exactly what you should do with everything in your life. The opposite of what those people are doing that you don't like. You don't like how those people live, how those people react, how those people work, how those people like do their daily things, then do the opposite. Be the opposite. That is the only way you will change them and the only way you will conquer all those strange situations that are ahead of you in this beautiful life. You won't be able to drive out darkness with darkness. You will only be able to drive out darkness with light. That is how the sun brings light to the day. So it's very interesting to see that nature is teaching us all these kinds of lessons, guys. It's not like only beautiful, it's also teaching us these lessons. Don't be that thing that you don't like to see in others. Be that thing that you want the world to be like. You need to be the change that you want to see in the world. So it's very important that you understand that you won't be able to change all those people's opinions, to change all those people's mindset, to change all those things that you want to change if you act the same as those people that you want to change. You need to change. You need to be the opposite of them. Don't hate them. Don't fight them. Don't discuss with them. Just do the opposite. Just show them that other way. Show them that other path. Show them by being positive. Not by also being mad or frustrated or furious. Just be positive. Be the opposite of all that what you see that you don't want to be yourself. Just be the opposite. 
I hope you really enjoyed today's video, guys. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, then please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, and let me know down below what do you think about the charts, what do you think about all the tips, what did you think about the inspirational quote that we ended with, yes, darkness will never be driven out by darkness, only by light. You and I should be that light that drives out all of the darkness. We should be brightening so bright, and exactly like that sun is shining too bright in my eyes, we will blind all those people that are still living in their darkness. We should blind them, that they will come to us and ask us, hey, wow, what is it? What is it that you do that makes life more beautiful? And then you can answer just being positive, just being positive and shining a beautiful light instead of darkness. Now, thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again. Bam.